We do chores in life to make ourselves better. We've talked about the Christian chores over the course of the fall here, and I've got one more chore for you. As parents, we give our children different chores around the house because we love them, and we want them to be better people as they get older. We want to teach them a strong worth at work ethic. We do these things out of love. Parents, sometimes we do weird things for our children. I'll be honest. We do weird things out of our, for our children because we do love them. There are times that I do my children's chores for them. I will take the trash out for my son, Alex. There are times I will take the recyclable bin down to the end of the driveway for Chloe. I do this because I love them. And I'm just trying to give them a break, to give them an easy going for a few minutes. We do things for our children all in the name of love. I want you to think back to a time. May, it might be a time recently. It might be a time a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. But think back to a time when you did something for your children because you loved them, that helped them out, that gave them sort of a, a clean break for a second. Maybe it was a chore around the house. Maybe it was vacuuming, dusting, putting away laundry. Maybe it was helping them out on their homework, giving them some pointers, ideas of where to go. I'm going to tell you about a parent who did something in the name of love for his children and it is considered to be an extreme thing this guy did something so extreme that chances are nobody out here could do it this parent this guy was a father and he loved his children so much that he sent his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life God sent his son to earth to take the price of our sin. We are God's children. We mess up. I mess up. We all sin. And because we, we mess up, we have that punishment, there's a price that has to be paid. I remember taking my son to the store one day. And like a lot of parents, you probably have this rule. The rule is simply, do not touch things. Because we don't want our children to break something. We don't want them to get in trouble. But one day I took my son to the store with me. He did what a lot of children do. He touched something he wasn't supposed to. And guess what? He broke it. I had to pay the price literally out of my wallet and pay for this item that he broke. Now, I was a little upset, but I still love my son. I did it because I love him. We do things for our children because we love them. God sent his son Jesus to pay the price for our mistakes. He sent his son to die for us. Some people think that Jesus came here to preach down to us, to tell us all the things we're doing wrong, to make us feel bad. No, that's not the case. The Bible is very clear in this. In John chapter 3, verse 17, it says, Jesus did not come to the world to condemn the world, but to save it through him. God loves you. We are his children. He wants you to choose him. He wants you to accept him as his Lord and Savior. We cannot choose God. I'm sorry, we cannot choose God for other people. We have to choose him ourselves. We can't go to the store and we can't buy something. We can't be really good. We have to choose God. When you choose God, when you accept God, then you're, then you're good to go. You're in heaven. Unfortunately, we don't get to go to heaven just by being really good. We have to accept God. My Christian chore for this weekend, you can choose to do it or you can choose not to do it. I give the choice up to you because it's your choice. But my Christian chore for you today is to choose God. I hope. You have chosen God. I hope you've accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. A lot of times we don't know who to talk to if we want to make that decision. We're scared. We don't know who to talk to. We don't know what to say. We don't know what the deal is. But if you've not accepted Christ, I got my phone. My cell phone number is 706-352-0305. 
I don't want anybody to ever say, I did not know who to talk to about accepting Christ. Call me. I never turn my phone off. If I'm in the movie theater, I put it on silent. I never turn my phone off. My phone number again, 706-352-0305. If you ever want to talk to me about anything, please call me. We can get together, have to slice of pizza, grab a cup of Pepsi or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll talk. But the day Jesus died on the cross is a day that God wrote the check to pay for our mistakes. That's my Christian chore for you is to simply choose God. Let's go to God.